So remember, if you're on our YouTube channel right now, please see that subscribe button and, and slide up and down, scroll up and down, and check out some other interviews. Right now, we got another lovely lady that we're talking to right now. Holler my people. Tell them who we're rocking with. Yes, what's up, world? My name is Taylor Frusell. I am a serial entrepreneur. I'm the connector. I'm the money girl. I have the several bag. businesses, but it's not about me. It's about how I can connect you with whatever it is that you are missing. All right. Well, hey. Okay. One thing I... I I'm always missing money because I don't feel like I can never have enough. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so and you said you get into the bag. Let's 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 be more specific. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay. So for right now, what I'm doing right this moment is okay. working with indie artists. Okay. Um, I'm helping indie artists get enough money to sign their own self, get their credit built, get right. their business built, get their brand built, get them merch, get them connected with different people in the artist industry that can help them grow. Right. So like yesterday, we were at the BET Awards. Um, right. Super amazing. I had a bunch of people with me. A few indie artists were in the building. And we were just really just connecting, making connections. Because one thing about being an artist is, especially independent, is you don't have people to fund everything for you, these big right. labels. Right. So you have to go out here. You have to build your brand. You also have to make money. So that's why we try to teach them that merch is important. It is. Um, but outside of artists, uh, I'm from D.C. So I just moved here in right. January. Shout out to D.C. Shout out to D.C. Right. Um, but outside of artists, before moving here, I helped 247 people build a business in a year and a half. Okay. About 15% of those businesses are right now still sustained and growing even against the pandemic. Right. Um, so that's what I do. Like I said, I'm the connector. I'm the money girl. But I got some events coming up in Atlanta All right. that people so, really want to hear about. And, and obviously, you know, your, your events should be dope because you understand the key to any event or the, to any brand in the business is having that financial uh, backing. And, 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 and sometimes that comes with hard cash. Sometimes they come with leverage and credit. There's a lot of different ways, you know, that you can get to the quote unquote bag and you know sometimes you have to you know leverage credit to get to the real bag and then you come back and pay it all back i mean essentially a lot of people like to talk i don't know if i necessarily agree with it all the way 100 percent, but a lot of people kind of like akin a record label to kind of like a deal or have a credit card like a line of credit because you got to pay it all back <laughs> essentially you know what i'm saying so it's like you know you're going to pay the label back or you're going to pay visa Anything back like you know which one you could be shelf yeah. You know, there's just so many different things with, with dealing with labels. Um, okay. and, I don't, and I'm not against it. Right. I love labels. I love, big shout out to Empire. They were just at my panel. Big right. shout out to Sony. I mean, I work with so many different people that work with these labels, these big distribution labels. So I'm not against it. Right. But my thing is, when you're ready, you'll know. Right. Um, when you're not ready, you just got to get out there and hustle and grind. Right. You know? and, and they'll also know because they ain't coming to holler at you until you are. So building your brand <laughs> is important. Yeah. Um, I always tell people, build your brand. Get out and network. Your network is literally your net worth. And I know it's cliche, but that's real. It's yeah. always not about what you know. Sometimes it's who you know. It's right. who can walk you through that door. Sometimes we go through the back. We ain't going through the front. Right. Sometimes we go through the side. We ain't going, you know, but at the end of the day, you got to connect with like-minded people. And that's why I'm here today at this amazing conference. And that's even why I'm sitting with you, because if I got something going on, if I got the hottest record, if I got the newest clothing line, if I don't tell you about it, how do you know? Right, exactly. Everything <laughs> like people be like, you know, uh, you know, oh, this song is old. I, artists kill me saying a song that they recorded, you know, and they have no, not one national hit single, and they go on to record new music. And I'm like, yo, your old music is still basically new because I never heard it. You know what I'm saying? Even if you did it three years, I never heard it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's still new. So you know, speaking of the conference, um, did you get a chance to hear any of the panels? Anything? I am just getting here. I cannot wait to get in the conference. Okay. I actually here to connect. Right. I have a photographer here from um, Las Vegas and they're looking for things to do for the BET Awards weekend so right. I'm taking them to different events with me this is one of the events that they're actually working so I'm getting inside now going to connect with some new people but even him coming in I'm his connector right I'm his plug for the weekend I'm gonna get him in the BET events we gonna get out we gonna network and we gonna brand so I'm excited because when I saw that the conference was about business right marketing women entertainment music i said i need to be here right right there's no way that i'm not here so your girl taylor frusell that's is in what's the up. building once again right <laughs> so <clears throat> i'm gonna ask you two, two more questions no first problem. one is outside of music because you said we, we've already said that you need you, you take money to make money right yes. what would be the number one just personally now i know everybody's got their own lane everybody's got their own talents and everybody mm -hmm. can't do everything but what, what would be a business that you feel like you could tell an a, a artist who wants to start a, a another income source you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying what's a good business that you've seen pop off you know Ooh, and, I can and, tell and, you and, and it has been you know pretty pretty profitable you know in a i ain't talking about a, a, a get rich scheme i'm talking mm -hmm. about a legit business that's right you know that that, that you feel can be another uh, uh lane of income while the artist works on their grind and, and works to cultivate their art two things 
first thing, real estate. Okay. Now, I don't know where you are financially, but real estate has so many different components, artists. Right. All right. First thing, we need to start buying black, buying back and controlling the wealth. Right. Okay. We all, our ancestors, they built and they founded a lot of this stuff. It's time for us to buy that back. Now, if you're not in a space where you can go invest into real estate and property right away, I would say wholesaling. Okay. Think about how many people you know that's in your community or in your city, in your clique, in your crew, in your label, wherever you are, artists. Think about the people who are connected with you that might have two or three thousand dollars. You guys can literally go put a couple thousand dollars together, buy a property, a building, some land, mm -hmm. whatever, fix and flip it, and that's your first project. Right. That's one of the things I would suggest real estate or just wholesaling, finding you some property, connecting the dots. Right. And then making that money. But fashion. Reason I say that is look at all the fashion moguls that were music. Right. Think about it. You got Jay Z, you got Dame Dash, you got uh, Beyonce. I think almost a lot of the big celebrities have had fashion right. brands. Right. Some of them, some of them, they, they're worth, you know, and that made them shoot, you know, up, up you know, more. fashion and liquor. You, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them, you liquor. know, and fashion and liquor made a lot of them rich. Like, you know, Jay Z and all of them, they made money. But I Rihanna? think, I, I, I don't think makeup. She almost disappeared yeah. for a minute. We right. was like, where are we on? She was doing, to the bag. She was doing <laughs> Fenty <laughs> right. with makeup, fashion. And you Securing guys got to remember, you yeah. are the brand. Right. So even if it's just some t-shirts, I tell artists this all the time. If you got an album, if you got a song, if you got something coming out, put it on a t-shirt and yeah. go sell it to your friends. $10, to. $15. And you're, to, and you're supposed to be walking around with it on you on. at all times. Because remember this, when we go to the concerts, right. Right, <laughs> we used to, you know, I haven't been to good concerts in a while, but well, other now I'm going to be out here this evening. Thank you, God, for that. <laughs> but um, God, God is good. But it's so crazy because I remember when we used to buy the t-shirts. From the of the artist, remember right. Drake would perform right. and he would have right. a tour, and we would go buy the T-shirts from the vendors, right. and it would have his tour dates right. on the back, and we were just so excited, and we would buy. Do you remember that time we would buy the album cover posters and put them right. on our wall? Right. You are the brand. Yeah. So get you some merch, get you something. And they shouldn't brand, be buying that from nobody else but you. Tangible. It could be phone cases. Right. I just picked up my phone. Look at that. This could be my favorite artist on the back of it. Right. You gotta remember, people respect you, people love you, and people want to see what you got. So if you put in your passion into your work and not just your music, if you're putting it into your brand, people are going to buy. That's right. They believe in that. Yeah. And branding is everything. We love the music, but if I can, and, and, and I'm just saying, <laughs> little baby, because I love little baby. But a lot of you, if you like little baby, if you like some of these people, you would love to walk around with his clothing line if it's dope. Right. And I'm sure he's creative and he got some dope ideas. So again, it's another form of income. It's another stream. But real estate, fashion, those would be my two things that I would suggest for artists. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> Great conversation. Of Before course. we get ready to get up out of here, we got to make sure that you get, you know, because do you. Consult with artists? Do you? I consult with everybody. Mm -hmm. I work with politicians. Okay. I work with fashion designers. Right. I work with artists. It's just right now, I'm really owning in on this um, stuff with these artists. All I've right. been doing these showcases and things. I got an event coming up October 30th. So yeah. Oh, hold on. before we get ready to go, yeah. you got to tell me about that. October oh, 30th. What's goodness. happening on October 30th? October That's like 30th. A couple weeks from here. Yeah, October okay. 30th, right here in Atlanta. Okay. And it's going to be on 2001 MLK Junior Drive in Atlanta, Georgia, Southwest Atlanta, Georgia. We're doing a showcase. Okay. It's going to be. Halloween day. Um, it's going to be vendors, food. During the day, we have kids performing, so I'm so excited. Big shout out to Young and Famous, which is one of the first groups that said, I want to be a part of your show. Okay. We have some um, kid artists coming out. They're performing, they're dancing, they have their music, everything like that. But then we're also going to have indie artists perform in the evening. Okay. So the indie artists are going to come out, they're going to perform. We have some big names, we have some giveaways, sponsors. It, it's going to be a big event, and that's going to be from 1 p.m. to 12 a.m. All right. I got to get it right. Follow me, you guys, because we're in the stages of promoting it. But if you follow me on Instagram, uh -huh. it is I am, I A M T A Y L O R F R U C E L. And I like to spell it out because it's I am Taylor Frusell. Okay. And um, people don't always know how to spell that. So. Taylor Frusell. I'm going to run that back. Just slide it. Rewind if you got to spill it all the way back out. But find okay, her. Connect with her. Me. All right. And it's good to meet you. This is my first it time is. meeting you. But it's uh, great. Uh, here we are. Like I said, the Music Business Empowerment Conference is all about empowering people. And it's all about business. So um, you're in the right place. And I'm glad yeah. I got a chance to talk to you. All right. Uh, yeah. And I hope to see you soon. Absolutely. This is Thank K100 so Radio MBE. K100 Radio.